or to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to fluid paint. This is honestly not that hard to do, really simple. You guys probably already have these supplies at home. This is a great craft to do in quarantine and I think you guys will really like it. So if you want to see how to make this, keep watching. First, I'm going to tell you guys the supplies you're going to need. So the first thing you're going to need is a canvas. If you guys don't have a canvas at home, you could always just use like a piece of paper or like cardboard of any sort from like a um, shoebox or like any box that you have, you can always just like cut off one of the sides if you don't have a canvas at home because I know not everyone has one. The next thing you're going to need is any type of box or tablecloth to catch your paint. Since you're going to be like pouring it and dripping it, a lot of it is going to be going on some type of platform. So I just let all the paint pour into this shoe box. Any box works. Or if you guys have like a really thick tablecloth, that will also work. I have a tablecloth here too but I prefer using a box because it just catches it all and it's not so heavy on here. The main thing you're gonna need is paint. I'm gonna be using these today. I got these from my dollar store. They were literally like $1.25 each. You don't have to get like paint that's for walls or anything. You can just get like paint for painting. This is just acrylic paint. I have a white, I have this dark green that I'm gonna turn into like a medium green. I have this purple that is also gonna be like on the lighter side because I don't have like a light purple. I have this silver and I have this baby blue color. And you guys could use, you don't have to use five colors, I'm gonna be using five today. But you guys could use like, I would say minimum at least two to three, but I'm gonna be doing five. And kind of the more colors you have, the more colorful your painting is gonna be. The next thing you're gonna need is cups. And basically this cup is gonna have water in it. So you're also gonna need water too. So water is gonna go in one of your cups and then get as many cups as as many paints as you have. So since I have five paints, I'm gonna have five different cups. I got clear cups to show you guys basically what the paints look like inside, but you don't have to get clear cups. You can use like foam cups or something else. But yeah, I'm gonna be using five paints and I'm gonna need five cups. That's basically everything you're going to need today. So let's get started. Guys, one more thing you're gonna need is paint brushes. So definitely get a few. You're not gonna need too many. It's really just to mix the paints inside the cup. But you guys can honestly just use popsicle sticks if you don't have paint brushes. But I'm also gonna be using one of the paint brushes to just paint this white. The first thing we're gonna do is take our white paint. You are gonna need one paintbrush. I don't really know what else you could use to spread it. You're gonna need some type of thing to spread it. A paintbrush would be the best. And just shake up your paint. And you could put it on a palette, but I'm just gonna put it right on here. And basically, even though I'm painting white on white, this basically just gives it a coat. If you have new paintbrushes, you don't have to wet your paintbrush first, but since this one's kind of old and crusty, I'm just gonna get it wet a bit. And now I'm just going to spread my paint. I'm also gonna get some paper towels just to dab it off. So I'm gonna get that quickly right now. Okay, so I got some paper towel and I'm just gonna take a little bit of it just to keep in case I'm going to need to dab my paintbrush off. If it's too wet, I'm just gonna dab it off a bit. Now I'm going to take my paintbrush and just paint this thin white coat over. And you wanna make sure most of it is dry before you do your other colors. So I'm just gonna paint this back and forth. Make sure you do the same strokes back and forth. You can either go this way or up and down. I'm gonna be going back and forth and I'm just gonna spread it all over. That's literally all you need. I'm not gonna do a second coat or anything. This is all you're gonna need. Um, you don't really need to put it on the sides. You can if you want to, but I'm not going to. And just to let you know, I am gonna also be letting it drip on the sides because it's gonna have to. So that's another thing it's gonna do. Just to let you guys know, um, wear something that you don't mind getting paint on. I just took like these old clothes, so in case I get any paint on it. By the way, these paints dry really quickly, so if you do have acrylic paint, you don't have to wait for it to dry, but if your paint is very wet, do let it dry. Um, but this is already dry, and I'm just gonna do one very thin layer. That's all I did. And now we're gonna start planning our colors out. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get my five cups ready and set. Okay, so I just went to go get some water. There's water in here. It could be room temperature. Um, just don't get too cold or too hot, just room temperature water's good. But now all we're gonna do is take our paints and we're gonna make our colors. So I'm gonna be using white 
In this painting here, I have white and um, black, and the white kind of just like breaks up the colorful colors a bit. So I definitely recommend using a black, white, or silver for sure, and then use like your colorful colors, like your blue, your purple, or whatever other colors you use, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, or purple. The first thing I'm gonna do is pour my white in. So we're gonna pour that right in. Let me move these so you guys can see. By the way, guys, this sticky note basically just has the colors um, that I wanna do. Just I recommend writing them down in case you wanna like mix colors like I am. So I'm gonna do some white, and you kind of do want to pour a lot because this is going to need a lot. I'm going to say this, it does waste kind of a lot of paint. That's how much white I put in. Now, once I have my white done, I'm going to do silver. Now this, for some reason, this silver is so liquidy. I don't know why. Like, look how much liquid we did. Look how much, like, it's like water, literally. I don't know. It's really liquidy. But to be honest, that kind of works for our sake because we do want these paints to be liquidy. If you can find paint that's liquid, um like less thick that will work perfectly but that's kind of already a lot liquidy i didn't think we're gonna have to add water to that because it's just really liquidy for some reason anyways i said liquidy so many times there but now we're going to go on to the purple and this is the one we're going to be mixing with some white to just like lighten it up a bit because i don't want two dark colors the dark green and the dark purple so once i have that i'm just going to get some white and I'm gonna mix it later, I'm not gonna mix it now, but I'm just gonna do a little bit of white for right now. And I'm gonna take the green and put it in here. And this one is also going to be just a little bit lighter, not too light. I wanna make this one like, these two are both gonna be medium, so like medium purple and medium green. So we're gonna add a little bit more um, white. And last but not least, we're gonna take the blue and just add it in. This one I'm not gonna be adding anything into because I like this blue color. Now I'm gonna take a paintbrush or a popsicle stick, works too. I think actually a popsicle stick could work better, but this works fine too. And I'm just going to mix the colors that need to be mixed. So this purple one needs to be mixed and the green one also does. So any colors that you guys are mixing, just mix them up. And I also recommend having your colors preset already because your hands are gonna get really dirty and it's and it's gonna be really hard to open the caps up and stuff like that. I'm actually gonna leave the caps open in case I need to add it more because opening these caps when your hands are full of paint is gonna be kind of hard. And just to let you know, paint will get on your hands. So make sure the paint is like safe for your hands. If it isn't, wear gloves. I'm going to continue to mix my colors. And now we're gonna move on to the fun part. So this is where the mixing comes in. But before we put it on the canvas, we're gonna add a little bit of water to make them just a little bit more liquidier because these, I'm not sure if that's a word liquid or, I don't even know how to say that, but I'm gonna be saying liquid a lot in this video because that's basically what this is. I'm gonna add just a little bit of water. I'd rather add less than more because you don't wanna overload your colors with water. This one I'm gonna add very little because this is already watery. And the white, I actually might have to add a bit more. And now we're just gonna mix it. Um, I'm just gonna take this one from the purple and just mix that up. Now I'm just gonna add a little bit more to whatever I think is too liquidy, because you want it to be liquidy, but not like water type. Okay, so now our paints are all mixed up. We're not gonna need this water anymore. So I'm just gonna put it on the side because I'm just gonna move the paints to the side so you guys can see my painting. Okay, so you're not gonna need your box yet, but the first thing you're gonna do is basically just make little dots of colors. So I'm, I'm gonna show you guys basically what I'm doing. I'm, I don't really know how to explain it, but just kind of watch what I'm doing. 
Hey guys, it's a voiceover Brianna here. So I'm gonna be coming in like at different parts, but basically what I'm doing right now is making little circles inside circles. So I'm gonna pour a little bit of paint and then pour my next color inside that same circle. And throughout this video, um, I realized that my paint was too liquidy. So I went back and I added more paint to make it less watery because you kind of realize that it's kind of clear-ish and that's not good. You want it to be really pigmented with the color so if you find that your paint is too like watery just add some more paint in and they'll thicken it up a bit so now this is the part where we're gonna mix it so I'm just gonna open up my box and let it drip into the box so just be very careful and then move the box here so I just fixed the camera set up a little bit because I want you guys to see it but now we're basically just gonna turn it and just kind of let it flow Hey guys, I'm back. So basically what I'm doing right now is I'm just adding more paint. This process is kind of repetitive, but basically you have to get the right texture of the paint. So just keep adding more paint or maybe more water if your paint is too thick. And I just kept adding this back and forth and eventually I did get the right consistency. And all you have to do is just keep adding paint onto your canvas until you have no white left on your canvas. And even when I had no white left on my canvas, I still kept adding paint because I wasn't happy with the way it flowed. And what I mean by I wasn't happy with the way it flowed is as you can see it's like really purple at this point and I wanted to add like more different colors in between to make it like separate-ish. So basically I just keep adding until I get my design that I like. Keep adding to your liking and basically stop when you would like. While you're doing this, um, to start off, I recommend doing circles and circles to get like the base of it covered. But once you have most of it covered, I recommend also doing like splotches kind of. I don't even know if that's a word, but like kind of just take your paint and kind of push it across. I don't know how to explain it, but you'll see I'll do it in a few times. But towards the end, as you guys just saw with that green, I made like a little like line across. So you kind of want to make lines too. And that kind of gives it like a different type of flow. And also I just realized I wasted so much paint doing this. The only thing that I like about this is it comes out so good in the end. Now I'm not going to add all the clips in because I'm really just doing this back and forth. Um, this took me around, I would say like an hour. I was filming so I was trying to get like the good shots and stuff like that. But if you are doing this, like not filming a video, um, I think it would take around an hour maybe. I don't know, it kind of depends like until you want to stop. But I was just adding more paint into the cups because I was running out of paint. So I'm just adding a little bit more. And sometimes I was actually adding paint onto the canvas. And for some reason I found this like yucky stuff in this green paint. So I had to like pull it out. So that was really weird. But anyways, I'm just going to keep going. I'm not going to include all the clips because that would just make this video like 40 minutes long. Like originally without me editing, this video was over an hour long because like the time lapse was just so long. But... I'm just going to keep doing this until I finish and I'll show you guys from there. By the way, in the next like 10 seconds, this time lapse is going to go like really fast because I made it really fast to make this video go by faster and not so long. So in 3, 2, 1... As you guys just saw, I used a straw to like kind of like blow it a bit. It didn't really work, but I just want to try something new. It kind of worked, not really, but I recommend not doing it. Okay guys, so I finished. My hands are really dirty. Um, this is basically what it looks like. I do think there's a bit too much green here, but the thing is, the more you add, the more of a risk you take because it might move this part or it might ruin that part. So I think I'm just gonna leave it like this. I still really like it, even though it's a little bit more green, but it has purple, blue, white, I love it. The silver didn't really come out that well because I don't know, something's in here, even though it still feels full but nothing comes out. So I need to get a new one, but for right now, I just like it how it is. I think it's actually really nice. And yeah, so I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna bring the box to my garage. 
um, and just leave it to dry there for a night. When I did my other painting, it only really took like a night to dry. So yeah, I'm gonna let it dry. If you guys ever create this or if you guys try it out, please tag me or send it to me on my Instagram. My Instagram will be down below and up on the screen. And this is honestly a really fun painting to do. I'm gonna be having more painting videos coming soon if you guys want that, of three easy paintings you guys could do, and I think you guys will love them. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next clip, which will be for me the next day or night. Okay guys, so it is the next day. Um, it dried in pretty much a night. So and now I'm gonna show you guys the final product. Yeah, that is basically how you make liquid art. I really liked how it came out. It looks really good. To be honest, at first, I was really worried that it was too liquidy, the paint. But when you just keep adding more and more and just keep playing around with it, it will turn out. And to be honest, I think it came out better than I thought. Um, I still like this one better because I like the colors better. But I don't know, I really like the green. And yeah, so that's basically what I made today. Hopefully you guys learned from this video how to do liquid art. If you guys have any questions about how to make liquid art or just any questions, you can comment them down below or you can DM me on my Instagram. My Instagram will be linked down below and up on the screen. And yeah, I think that pretty much concludes this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, don't forget to give today's video a big thumbs up. Press the red subscribe button down below turn the little notification bell right beside it that basically notifies you every single time i upload a new video i don't want you guys to miss out on any of my videos i post two times a week i post every wednesday and sunday est time at 1 30 and i hope to see you guys in my next videos i hope you guys enjoyed and yeah i'll see you guys next time bye